Hello everyone, Sire here. I finally got my Flavor of the Month card kit for December 2019. I have been, once again, ignoring all online postings on this because uh, when it comes to card kits, I absolutely love being surprised. Um, that's the main reason I, I get these. Um, so let's just go along, or go, let's just get going into this. I don't wanna have a video that's too long. Um, but like I said, I really look forward to these. Um, and so I will, I don't know what's in it. I don't know um, the names or anything. So as I'm going along, I'll just start re referencing the, the piece of paper that I have here and go from there. <laughs> so it is gonna be a little bit longer video and I hope, but I do hope that you, um, you enjoy my excitement, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyways, we'll just open this up and uh, and I'll take this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this aside and I'll start with the, the paper. And I most likely will um, um, trim this video. Okay, so as always, there is always a collection of cardstock. So I'm gonna reference the sheet here and you get the two pieces of 100 pound high quality, what is this one? This is the uh, 110, sorry, Classic Crest Smooth Solar White cardstock. And then it comes with these nice colors here. Um, we have snow cone, um, chocolate, we have nightshade blue, Wild Cherry, Pink Lemonade, and Blue Raspberry. This is actually a really beautiful blue. In fact, I'm trying to work on my branding and this was one of the colors I would have chosen um, this with the gold um, crabs, but um, if you don't know my brand, the Craft Crab brand. But uh, these are really nice, really beautiful colors. Um, and because this, this flavor of the month uh, card kit is called Sending Love, I'm assuming I'm gonna see a lot of Valentine's stuff. And these are really nice. This one is a little off. I mean, it's beautiful, but these five here are really good, really beautiful um, Valentine colors. Like I can see, and you got the, the red, the chocolate, and then the blue. Blue is really, really matches. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So let's let's move along, and uh, I'm just going to put this here, and move to the first kit. Okay, I'll start with the first one. Um, what's this one? Okay, so the first one I believe is collection one, which is the puppy hugs and kisses. Um, so we have some really nice cardstock. Um, this one is definitely really popping to me. I love the colors. It actually matches the cardstock. Got some paw prints and oh, little little puppies. Oh, there we go. Tennis balls, which has the same matching colors. Hydrons, two different shades, more paw prints, and then these cute. Uh, uh, dog bones. So far, I actually really enjoy this paper, um, but the one that caught my eye the most, I would say, is that heart one. This one, <laughs> right here in the front. This one is definitely really nice. It also comes with um, an XO ribbon by Hair Bow Boutiques. So this is actually pretty long. It's really nice, it has a little XOs and hearts on it. Um, I'm very excited, like I am just in love with this. It comes with um, enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs, and they are kind of, um, I don't know if that's, it's a pale blue. I was gonna say robin egg, but I think robin egg's a little more bright, but it's a pale blue. Slate maybe? 
Of course, it does come with an envelope. Each kit will come with an envelope, so I'll get four in total. It has some random uh, Puppy Pals Odds and Ends by Doodlebug. I do love my Doodlebug. Um, so this is the Odds and Ends collection, so I got a few of them. So it comes with, uh, I got a doghouse, a bone, a little flag. <laughs> it probably came with a bunch of them because you can see there's actually, um, if I just pocket that out, it looks like it's a little pendant so you can put some string through that. But I only got, I got just the one. So I'll figure something out and then the dog, the dog bowl. So that's cute. And it does come with a stamp and it's called Puppy Hugs and Kisses. Nope. Yes, stamp set by Scrapping for Less. So we have a, a little bit of sentiments, puppies, hugs, and kisses. I will love you forever. <laughs> I dig you. Woof and be mine. So those are some nice and little dogs. The little fluffy dogs right there. So this is gonna be nice because I can actually start playing with my alcohol markers that I got from Black Friday. Um, so this is kit one. Really, really hitting it off well with the first kit. Really happy. So now I'm just gonna put this away and uh, grab the next one. Okay, the next one is um, collection two and it's Would You Be Mine? And wood is is a pun. It's spelt wood with W O D. So it comes with the envelope. Nice wood um, grain. Some really bright flowers. And those those polka dots. I like this. This is nice. Some more wood. Some plaids. Dots are really nice. And some stripes and some. This is really beautiful. I really like the leaves. Um, because, like I said before with the cardstock, I really like that dark blue. And this green, it just it just really pops. It doesn't pop as much as this, but it, it's it's really nice. Um, I would say that's actually probably my, my favorite one in this, this kit. Okay, moving along. It does come with some love stickers. It's not by anyone in particular. According to the sheet, it just says love stickers and you get three of them. And they kind of have a craft color um, in black font. Those are really nice. And yes, they are. Sorry, everything's being stuck. Everything is stuck to the envelope. Okay. With this, sit, or with this um, kit, there also comes with these three wooden hearts by Lara Crafts, which are really, really nice. Which match, which goes well with the would you be mine, spilling of the wood. Now this is where I'm a little confused because the kit says enamel dots by Gina Marie, but these look like hearts. I don't know if um, these are classified as dots, but these are um, a light yellow. And it's, it's nice. I, I'm just a little thrown off because um, I keep, when I see these type of things, I don't know if I'm looking at the wrong collection, but I believe based on everything else, this is collection two, would you be mine? But these don't look like dots. They look like shiny hearts, but really nice. Really cute. And of course, you get the Scrapping for Less stamp set. And this one is really nice. I really like the bird holding the little envelope in the heart. So it has love mail, would you be mine, and then a nice hello font. And then you get a simple heart that you can play with. And then this looks like a stump. It looks like someone carved you plus me and some flowers. It's very nice, very simple. And um, I'll get to play around with that. That looks fun. Okay, so this looks like uh, collection four. I did do a little peek just to just to uh, make sure, but um, comes with the envelopes. So there's number three. I can tell you right now. Oh, looks like I got um, my paper's not cut perfectly. A little snag, but that's okay. That's just a corner. 
no problems there. I am okay. But what I was gonna say is, right off the bat, I'm in love with this piece of paper, this, this color here. Um, but this collection, number four, is called Snail Mail, Snail Mail. And so far, I'm, I'm loving. I don't know if I said this before, but Valentine's is one of my favorite times of holidays. I'm just gonna do a little size. Um, Valentine's is one of my favorite holidays. It's not because of the lovey-dovey, um, must have rela uh, romantic relationships and that. You know what I love most about it is, is the hearts, the color themes, uh, those little cinnamon hearts, that, all that. And then of course my mom made great memories. Um, that's what I love about Valentine's. It's just a day to take away from the rest of every day and just enjoy something. And these, these pieces of paper are doing its justice so well. I am, I'm back in, as a kid, um, just loving, like, look at that. That's just simple dots, the colors. Um, not so much this one, but still nice, but not, not as much as these ones. Um, these just are such beautiful patterns. Um, I'm just really happy with these. I, I am, I'm actually more excited with these than the last Christmas one, um, which was also nice. Um, always remember that. I don't, I don't hate uh, these. Um, I enjoy everyone, but this definitely is really beautiful. Um, they did a good job. Uh, um, I, I believe it's Teresa picking these. Um, it comes with some sprinkle enamel dots by Doodle Design. So these are an opaque white, really solid white, which looks nice. And I'm gonna show you these, these I, they keep catching my eye. These are absolutely really, really cute. Um, and these are uh, enamel dots. No, sorry, 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 sorry. I said it backwards. I ruined it. <laughs> these are the enamel dots by um, Gina Marie Designs, and these are the sprinkle enamel by Doodlebug. Um, I really like the little suns and the little white cloud. Oh, they're, these are really, really cute little sprinkles. Comes with um, some brads by Creative Expressions. So these are come in white, pink, and red little hearts. Just in love with these. So I've never worked with brads before. I don't know if I need to actually um, have a device that pokes or can I just use anything, but I'll figure it out and I, I, can't, I look forward to trying those out. And of course, there is the stamp set, which is called um, Snail Mail by Sunny Studios. And this one comes with a mailbox with a letter in it, um, some little envelopes, a little snail with a smile on his face, and to make my heart smile. Um, this is a really nice little set here. And I don't know if that's part of it, but it looks like there's a little dot, dotted line. Um, looks like it. So I really look forward to playing with this set. This is definitely number one contender now. Um, used to be the first collection, now number four is the best one. So one more to go. Okay, collection number three is called Friendship. It does come with the envelope. And then you have the paper. All the paper has been from Scrapping for Less. I didn't say it, but... Um, it is, <laughs> and uh, this one is, is interesting. It's actually like um, doodles, like hand, hand um, drawn lips with the lipstick and then the word love with hearts around it. Um, so all this paper, really busy. This one's really busy and you know what? I noticed there's a straight line. It's kind of like, um, yeah, interesting. Really, it's more of a busy style, darker colors, but it's it seems to be like kind of almost like handmade art that's in paper. Um, like this is like glitter stamped, some doodles, drawings. This looks like uh, glitter paper that had all the hearts ripped out, cut out of it. This one's really nice. This is really. You know what? I think this is the winner. 
yeah, this is the winner of this little collection. And it's just a bunch of little doodled hearts in different colors, uh, like the pink and the gold on the dark blue. So all this paper matches um, that cardstock very well with that, um, what was it, blue raspberry and pink lemonade. So that's that. It does come with some fabric flowers by Doris. So they are, I'm not sure what kind of fabric that is. It almost feels like paper, but it comes with, and it has all these little wooden dots in the center. Oh, and there's another one. So it comes with three. You do get some glossy, now here we go. It says Glossy Hearts by Pink and Main. So I think the last one was the hearts and these should have been the enamel dots by Gina Marie Design. So these are almost like a, a rose pink and they look kind of clear but they also have like a, a, a shiny back. So really interesting those ones. And of course, oh, sorry it's stuck. We do have our stamp, and this is Friends for our, of our the Friends of the Heart, and it comes with a big heart with hands around it. Um, I guess you could actually just stamp the heart if you wanted that. You don't need to have the hands if you want because they aren't connected. And then it comes with two fonts. One's very small. It's very f dainty and small. And it says a true friend reaches for your hand and touches your heart, and then the other one's friends like you are good for the heart. So those are nice little sediments that you can add to a card. Um, yeah, actually, I might actually try some watercolors with this one because I do have some watercolor pencils that I would love to try with this. So that's, that is kit number three. Now, I, if you only got the basic um, Flavor of the Month cup, club, uh, so the double dip, that's what I meant, not basic, sorry, that doesn't sound nice. Um, the double dip, um, These. this is what you get. If, however, you pay a little more, you can get the, the banana split, and that's what I do. And I've mentioned before, I do get the banana split because I like the the benefits that they give. They, they usually provide you with a little extra, like if it's a dye or... Um, I know a couple of months ago they gave me some my stickles, which I absolutely use everywhere. And last month I believe it was a uh, Distress Crayon. And, and those are nice because then I actually can play around and try those um, and then buy some more if I, if I really like it. Play around. So I did get the banana split and I will be right back. Oh, sorry. Before I continue, I just noticed this in the bottom of the box. This is called an Aero Stencil by Scrapping for Less. And this is actually Collection 3. This was the last one, part of 3. Um, this is really nice. I'm actually really interested in this because I don't own any stencils yet. and I, But I did buy some Distressed Oxides, uh, some Pink Red. So this I really look forward to trying. And it comes with a bunch of little arrows, love, um, feathers, and, and little things like that. So this is really cool. Thank you. Okay, so now for Banana Split, what we get is, we'll start with a bag of sequins. So this is by Scrapping for Less. And it's a sequin mixed with a bunch of um, pinks, blues, yellows, just a, a nice variety of, um, looks like some browns in there. Really nice variety. I haven't actually used my sequ sequences from last videos because I keep running out of time and never actually get into create my cards. So hopefully I can use, incorporate these in my other cards. It does come with the die. This is usually normal with the, so far with the banana split. And it's a love diet with a heart on it. And it's a nice size. Um, it could be a nice focal point on a card. Um, so I will play with this. I might use it on several cards. This is new. Um, 
They give you a bunch of dots, I'm missing one, and most likely that got lost somewhere. Here, not <laughs> lost somewhere else, but it might have popped off. But it's um, a bunch of small little foam dots. So that will come in handy. And then the last thing it comes with is um, a stamp set, Sentiments of the Heart. So you get your traditional to and from, um, you plus me equals heart, and you get some nice decals, a true friend, um, a heart with a tiny little um, word love in it, crafted by, crafted with love by. This actually would be nice if you could use this um, all year round, actually. If you wanted to start, um, I don't do it myself, but if you wanted to mark the back of your card with your own signature, you can use crafted with love by and then your signature. That doesn't have to be Valentine's. However, Happy Valentine's Day is definitely a Valentine's Day sediment. And then it comes with this fun little heart. And oh, oh geez, up here. Um, you have a banner. And I'm assuming these words can all kind of fit in there. I will play with that, but you do have a banner. So this is the banana split piece. Um, so that's everything. It went by way too fast for me. Uh, I wish I had another kit already, um, but I look forward to making some cards. Now, what I would like to do is try to use up all this as much as possible, but what I've realized is that I just don't have the time to do it. So I will start by creating, what most people do, is create one card from each collection. Um, I'll create a video on that just to show what you can do with these cards and what I'm able to create. Then, if I have time, I will start using up each collection and then post videos on that because I like to use up all the paper and all the materials so I don't um, have them laying around in my house. I, I don't have much room in my, my, house, my home uh, for crafting, so I like to use as much as I can and it's just fun. I just love doing this. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were as excited as I was. I hope we, could, we did this together and had some fun. I definitely did. Um, lots of cool stuff. Uh, I would definitely say collection four and one are my absolute favorite. I'm going to be really giddy and excited to uh, work with those. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself um, and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.